Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making the electric arc furnace and the cutting machine. All right, guys, so we have a lot of work ahead of us today. I went ahead and checked out the recipes like thoroughly, and uh, I read the book more so I could understand a little bit of what we had to do. And I realized that they were basically saying, okay, creating a rocket and setting up a rocket is not the hard part, okay? So that's gonna be pretty easy to do. The hard part is getting rocket fuel, okay? And I was looking at rocket fuel, and the rocket fuel, if we take a look at the recipe, okay, it we need a chemical reactor, okay? Pretty simple, straightforward, okay? So we need a chemical reactor. All right, so how do we get the tanks of hydrogen? Okay, so we need an electrolyzer. Okay, how do we make an electrolyzer? Then I got to looking. Okay, we need these basic circuits. These basic circuits require that cutting machine I was talking about in the last episode. Um, and as you can see, this we actually need the basic circuit plate for that. And if you remember the entire process of getting this thing, we have to make the silicon wafer, and we need a, pre a, a precision assembler um, and we also need the cutting machine again to make the silicon bowl. And the silicon bowl comes from the crystallizer, which we actually made uh, last episode. Um, just trying to just just trying to get into rocketry a little bit, um, and that's what it, one of the things it told us to make. Um, but we need to get silicon, and to do that, we need the electric arc furnace. So our starting point is going to be the electric arc furnace. So. I'm going to get that built today. I've already made a bunch of the heat proof bricks. I've already made the actual arc furnace itself. Um, there requires three blocks of gold. It requires, which I needed more plates for. It says it requires three output out or three hatches, um, power input plugs. So it says right here, uh, power input plugs or IC2 plugs times three. Okay. Um, we need uh, 63 heat proof, proof bricks, but it also says Input hatch or output hatch or heat proof bricks, 11. So I wonder if we're going to have to make more of this heat proof brick, which you probably will. I'll just go ahead and make some just in case. All we need is to make one more set and thus we have enough, I think. Okay, and then the only other thing that we're going to need, that's it. That's all we need for, to, uh, for building this guy. Um, the only problem, we need to actually build it. So let's get some, uh, what was it, sand? Just to have on us. I do have more sand, um, more than this, stacked away, but uh, we're going to get conduit. We need more of the power conduit, and I think that's really all we need. We can bring item conduits just in case, but I don't think we're going to need them. And then we should be good. So let's go build this thing and see what we actually like need to do. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna build it next to this guy right here. So, if I remember, it's one, two, like we can be right here. Um, I might wanna come out one more. I'm guessing when we place it, that's too much. We got too much going on. Okay. Is that going to work? I'm, I'm placing it too far in. I do that every time. It's like, it's too... Too much. This is the block I need. There we go. Okay, so all of this is heat-proof bricks, correct? Correct. Looks like it. So we'll just start by placing our heat proof bricks. And I'm, I'm sure once I get the hang of building this, um, it'll be easy to build from that point on. Okay, and then we can go up a tier. So this requires output hatches or brick. So I'm going to put a input hatch here. Okay, input, hatch, oh, we needed uh, more power plugs, I think. I think it's going to require us to do power plugs. Input hatch here, output hatch here, 
And the rest of this is basically saying, okay, brick. Okay, we'll just leave all of this brick. And it looks like the center is hollow. It's so weird placing this because you're actually placing it on the block itself. Okay, now let's go up another tier. It's just more of the brick. Yeah, it's so weird to place these blocks because you're actually placing it... Like you're filling the block space, so... When you click on that ghost, it uh, actually goes up one. Okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding shift and scroll wheeling up. And that's what's going on there. Okay, it looks like more brick. Right here. This is the blocks of gold. Okay. The three blocks of gold. Don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Halo projector, go up one more. Alright, here's where our power plug plugs go. And we have to use power plugs. So we're going to need some more power plugs. But we can probably place our brick now. You know what? You can actually place it on this. I actually messed up right here. Grab that thing. There we go. Yeah, you can actually place them. I guess that is kind of nice. Like you don't have to have like blocks like that. Okay. And all we're needing is some power plugs. There's one. We need two more. So let's go to our base and we'll get two more. Um, I think I have enough to make it. Power plug, power output plug, power input plug. Ooh, we're out of iron plates. Oh wait, no, tin plates. There we go. That shouldn't take too long at all. Two of them. There's our final battery for our set. And then we can get our plug. Okay, power input plugs. Um, we also need two of these. And these are kind of expensive because these chrome plates take a while to pr produce. So that is... That is a thing. Okay, two plugs, that's all we really needed. Okay, um, almost done. Almost done making this thing. And then we have a few other things to, to make in this episode as well. But uh, getting these done... Oh, almost forgot, we're missing our furnace. Does it go right here? Did I mess up and... Yes, our furnace goes here. And then we right click on it, correct? Yeah, now we can access it. So it is now officially a multi-block and we do have access to our furnace. Okay, now getting power to this guy. That's gonna be ugly, but we're gonna get power to it. That's okay. You can have power going there. Don't mind me. And power going up. I guess it requires three. I don't know. I don't know why it requires three. It should be. Should have enough power with one. No? Oh, it does need all three powered. I guess. I guess it does. Yeah, now we have full power. Okay, so it doesn't all three power. That's neat. Okay. So we throw sand in, correct? Turn it on. Nothing. It took one in. Okay, 
So these are on and off switches. Please tell me this is not that slow. Is it even running? Can't tell. This is making so much noise. Let's change this. Okay, I, I'm i not too sure if this is doing like it's supposed to. It doesn't look like it is. Okay, there it goes. Oh, wow. So this is going to take a really long time, it looks like. Um... I love how it's just staring at me. It's giving me that look like, no you didn't. Oh wow, that's... That's gonna take a really long time, but I guess we only need a few wafers, so I guess we can, while we're waiting on that, we can work on our other machines. Um... Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. So, if we go into... What was it, uh... Fuel. Rocket. Rocket fuel right here. Think of rocket fuel. Okay, so we need an electrolyzer, correct? To get the electrolyzer, we needed that. So we can work on the cutting machine, correct? So yeah, we can probably make a cutting machine. And then we also need a precision assembler. And is that all we needed? So cutting machine and a precision assembler, and then we need the, the ones to actually make the fuel. So we can probably work on a cutting machine. It's probably going to be easier. I think I've made a cutting machine before. Ah, I hate when I do this. Don't use this block to open inventories. <laughs> okay, so cutting machine. Cutting machine right here. Another one of these guys. And another one of these. These steel gears. Oh, we're missing... What's that? So, two steel gears. Obsidian. One of these guys. Another one of these user interfaces. And we have a cutting machine. Okay. And then we also need a precision assembler. Precision assembler. Steel gear. Another one. Another one of these guys. Not too hard. Uh, we do need to make another circuit board. That's as simple as just getting getting all the things required and throwing them in. There we go. Okay, that's processing up. I think I already made the... no I didn't. We need a redstone there, okay. And then we just need that. There we go. And we have the last piece. And almost everything. A lot of those we need. Okay, that's all we have right now. Okay, um, we're probably going to need a bunch more of those. And I do have some more processing, but... Ooh, we're missing... I thought I made two droppers. I know I made two droppers. 
They did, they're just not work <laughs> working. That's strange. So the precision assembler. Oh, it requires a furnace. Duh. There we go. Okay, so that's all done. Now let's get our halo and let's set it to what we need. So the cutting machine. Okay, so cutting machine requires a uh, power plug, one uh, input hatch, saw blade assembly, output hatch, and one motor. So a motor who requires these copper coils again. That's going to be fun. Okay. There's that. Now we have to make more of these. Oh, come on. I know we have some more. Oh, yeah. We got tons. Oh, yeah. I've been processing these like crazy. Because these are like gold at the moment. Okay, there's all that. Motor. <laughs> okay, two of those. Um, with the motor, you should have everything. There's the motor. We need the blade. Saw blade assembly, which requires a blade. Iron plates. I know we have some, because I made some. Yeah, I've, d I've definitely made this thing before. I made it in my... What is it? Um, the invasion mod pack. Okay, so we have to go out here. Check our chest, get our plates, because we're going to be needing those. Let's come over here, grab our steel, because I'm sure we're going to be running low on steel. Okay, and get that in there. Input hatches, output hatches, and power. So hatch, just do hatch, and plug. Okay, so input hatch. So all in all, we need four of these. Okay, four. No, we need six. Six just for these two machines. Um, and I don't know what the other machine actually requires. I just know it's probably going to use two input hatches. Oh, we're at a chest. So we need another input hatch. Okay. And we need two output hatches. And we need a plug. So we're going to need eight of these. There we go. Perfect. And that was actually all that we had. Wow. Okay, uh, what else? Let's take a look at this and go to the pre precision assembly machine. What all does it require? Two copper coils. Okay, machine structure. What is that?
uh, machine structure. Oh, it requires just itself a bunch of those. Oh man, that is a kick to the the goodies. Oh boy. Okay, so we can't make that today, but we can make this all. <laughs> we can make this all. I'm I'm really working um, on getting these automated. Okay, let me go back here. Um, because that's the case. I didn't have enough time to leave the server running today. I kind of forgot to turn it on. Um, I left it running for a little bit, but it did not get the time that it really needed. Ten rubies. That's not enough. I gotta clear this out again. And, uh, let it do its thing. Because we don't have any rubies. Ten rubies is all we got. What we got in here? I did clear, clear this out a little bit. Oh, I have this turned off anyways. Oh well. Yep, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, it's it's a big deal. <laughs> we need a lot of this produced. Um, okay, put that back in there. Let's get that producing. Um, this is probably still processing. Yeah, it's processing bauxite. I'm not too concerned. As long as it's processing some bauxite, I'm okay. Okay, over here we can put our cutting. Let's open this up. Cutting machine. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Cutting machine, there we go. Okay, this is not going to be hard. Output hatch, input hatch. One power plug, saw blade, motor. Okay, I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't have a top to it. So power. Oh, that was supposed to be output. Yeah, input hatch. Output hatch, the cutting machine itself, and this motor has to be placed a certain direction. Wrong. Right? Well, that was right. That's correct. Okay, and then the saw blade. Wrong. I don't know if it matters, but it does to me. There we go. And you right click it, bam, we have a saw blade. Okay, um, this as soon as we get some power to it, put some power over here. We can run some power. There we go. This bad boy has some power. We'll just flip it to on. And uh, we could put wood in there and it'll actually give us a bunch of wood. But, uh, did I? It still, it still has it processed this. Are we still chunk loaded? Okay, yeah, we're getting to the point to where we're not chunk loaded. Let's just chunk load all that. Don't know what I just did there. There we go. I did it again. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> okay, it probably wasn't chunk loaded while we were doing that stuff, but... Uh, that's really slow. Like, that's beyond s slow. And there's no way of using this one? What happens when you put sand in here? Doesn't do nothing. Can't put sand in here. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, that's something that'll have to, I guess, go while the server's running. That's all we can really do. Um, man, this is gonna be, make for a short episode. I'm I can't really do much. Uh, I'm really just waiting for materials and um, yeah. Sorry for the kind of boring episode. There's not really much that we were able to do. I mean, we built the heat-proof brick arc furnace thing. Um, and then the cutting machine. There's still a few other machines that we have to make. We have to make a bunch of machines. Um, a bunch of these guys. There's gonna be like a whole line of them. Um, because there's nothing else we can really do at the moment. But yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting into the advanced rocketry. I mean, we could get the platform and stuff set up, but I still don't think we have enough stuff for that. Let's see what the, uh, before we go, let's see what the, uh, precision assembler actually looks like in the halo projector or the hollow, the hollow projector. Precision assembly machine. 
Okay. Two motors. Okay, so it goes here. Here's what the full thing looks like. Okay. So we got glass. The machine structure block. Okay. Covers a whole back, whole side. Um, it requires one, two, three. Three power. Four. Four power. Oh, I guess it's showing it could be configured in any way. Right? Yeah, it's showing that any, okay, so it's any of these slots can be any of those, those things. So we can probably put our power right back here. Okay. I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. But it still requires 20 machine structure blocks? I don't know. We can go ahead and set up our precision assembler itself and put up our input and output and our power and we still need power right Oh no, machine structure. Mach machine structure blocks go there. Yep, they go there. Okay, uh, what else? Let me see. So this is a hollow on the inside with glass. The machine structure. And this, I guess, gets the two copper coils down there. And up top is just a structure blocks. Okay, now I can see how it's 20. Okay. Makes sense. I understand. We're just waiting. Well, if you guys enjoyed this uh, nice little short episode, please over click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.